Hi guys, this is MGS Warrior 2 giving you part 5 of my Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul Let's Play. So today I'll be rematching Yugi Moto to finish off Tier 1. I found out that I just have to beat each duelist twice, so I'm almost there. So I'm gonna take on Yugi again. Listen, balance is the key to winning duels. Do you really think you've got a well-balanced deck? Well, it's a long way from being a deck that I uh, want to have um, as far as balance, but it's not too shabby right now. So, I'm gonna let Yugi go first. So let the duel begin. Oh, good thing I let him go first, I had all monsters. So he starts off with a defense monster face down. I've drawn a black pendant, which will come in handy. Ooh, I already got Summon Skull in my hand, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and summon my Neil the Magic Swordsman. I'm not gonna use Black Pendant just yet. I'm gonna save that for later when I really need it. So Neil the Magic Swordsman will attack his defense monster and it's just a weak meta bat. So that'll end my turn. So let's see what Yuki can do without the spirit of the puzzle guiding him without the Pharaoh's help. So far he actually does a pretty decent move. He reborn his Metabat and sacrificed it for Battle Steer and that will overpower my Neo. So he's destroyed my um, monster and he gets an early uh, advantage in this duel, but this is just getting started. So I... Let's see what I will do. If I use Black Pendant on Fiari, I'll, I'll equal Battle Steer's attack strength. So yeah, I'll, I'll just go ahead and do that. So that's the best I have right now. So I summon Fiari and I equip it with a Black Pendant. So that it'll increase its attack strength by 500. So now it's equal to Battle Steer's attack strength. So now we're at a stalemate right now. So let's see what he'll do next. Looks like he skips his battle phase because he doesn't want to lose his battle steer. Oh awesome, I've got change of heart, so I'll go ahead and uh, use that on his battle steer so I can sacrifice it for my summon skull. I sacrifice battle steer bring out my summon skull, which is awesome. Now it's time to enter battle phase. Fayaru attack his face down monster. And it's just an ancient jar. So my summon skull will uh, get a, a 2500 chunk out of his life points. But he uh, negates the damage with Karibu by discarding it to the graveyard. So he stalled for one turn. But I'll just try to attack him um, in, in this turn. So he just goes on the defensive now because I've had I have two strong monsters on the field. Now I'll just summon my Griffor. So I'm gonna just have Fyaru attack his face down monster. It turns out to be only a baby dragon. I don't know why Yuki has a baby dragon. Uh, I thought that only Joey Wheeler has it. But nonetheless, I'm uh, damaging his life points um, a lot this turn. So now I, I take him down to 4300. And let's see if Yuki has what it takes to bounce back. And nope, he is still hiding behind defense monsters. So that's a good sign for me. Now, I will sacrifice uh, my Griffor to so I can summon the mighty Kuryoshi, which is a, a Mako Tsunami card, because it's an Aqua monster. So Kuryoshi will attack his defense monster, and it turned out to be a Mammoth Graveyard. I remember in the anime where Yugi used the Mammoth Graveyard and fused polymerization with the living arrow to take on uh, Kaiba's blue eyes ultimate dragon 
which I thought was fake. Which can never be done in an actual duel, but it was pretty entertaining though. It, though. So I've defeated uh, Yugi in the rematch. It's too bad, but I guess I just lost. You, yes. So it's time for me to choose a new booster pack. So I'm gonna choose Dark Magician. But I get five Wimpy cards. I'm gonna check out the calendar. Ooh, uh, today's the weekly Yu-Gi-Oh! So that's good. So I, I hope to get uh, some rare cards pretty soon. But I'm just gonna continue battling now, so I'm gonna take on Joy Wheeler again. I've been waiting for you to show up. To be honest, Yu-Gi and friends are just too tough to beat. With you, at least I got a chance. Well, don't take me lightly, Joey. You remember the last time I took you on? I destroyed your red eyes. And I lose, I go second. Which, um, which isn't too bad. I'll just sit back and see what he does first. And he starts off with a face down defense. So I'm gonna take a look at my opening hand. Ooh, I, again I have Summon Skull in my opening hand, which is awesome. But I'm going to start off on the offensive and summon Witty Phantom. And my Phantom will attack his face down defense. Hopefully it's not a high defense. And it's an alligator sword and Witty Phantom is barely able to take it out. Because alligator sword at 1200 defense so that was good. Now he summons Axe Raider and that will defeat my Witty Phantom. My Witty Phantom goes down, and I lose 300 life points. So let's see if I can come back here. Ooh, I've got Mega Morph, and now that my life points are lower, I can equip it to one of my uh, uh, monsters. So I'm gonna summon Wow Warrior, and I'll go ahead e and equip it with the Mega Morph. That will I increase its attack up to 2500, which is um, amazing. So now I'll get, I'll be able to defeat his Axe Raider easily, and that takes down Axe Raider. And now I'm back in the lead. So let's see if Joey could recover. So he summons a baby dragon in attack mode, and that, that takes down my wall warrior. So I have to go ahead and read uh, Megamorph. I guess it only worked for one turn. Oh, that's right, because my life points were higher once I defeated his accelerator. So that's what happened. Oh well. So I'm going to activate Mystical Space Typhoon on his face down card. Let's see what it is. It was a trap card. Skull Dice, so I'm glad I destroyed that. The only move I can make this turn is to put Scale Angel on the field. I didn't even draw a card yet. So what was I thinking there? Okay, so I put Skill Angel face down defense. And back to Joey. He summons Time Wizard. Which is bad for me. He gets a flip a coin. And it looks like he got it wrong. And that cost him both of his monsters and some of his life points. So it looks like it backfired. and Which is perfect for me. I'm gonna flip... Uh, Skill Angel, so that I can activate its effect, I get to draw another card from my deck, which is called the Haunted. And now I get to sacrifice Skull Angel to bring out my Summon Skull. Now Summon Skull will attack Joey Wheeler directly with 2500. 
and he's down to 3850. So I'm way ahead now, and let's see if he can uh, bounce back. And he does, in a big way. He uses Raigeki. And now that he's destroyed my summon skull, I'm going to activate Call of the Haunted so that I can bring it right back onto the field. Nice try, Joey. But he activates Monster Reborn and brings back Axe Raider. Hopefully he doesn't sacrifice it. But he just uh, summons another monster and face down defense. So I am going to summon my Tai Home. So let's see if it has enough attack to defeat Axe Raider. It does. So my Tai Home will destroy his Axe Raider. So Axe Raider is destroyed and Summon Skull will attack his face down monster. And it's another Alligator Sword, so it goes down. Okay, so I'm still in control of this duel. And he's going on the defensive, looks like he has no more good moves left. And I'm just gonna summon Sneaky Yashi. I'm going to attack his face down monster with Tai Home. Hopefully, it's enough to destroy it. But it's a Beaver Warrior. So now I'll have to waste another attack on uh, destroying it with Summon Skull. And I'll get to attack his life points directly with Snakey Yashi uh, for a thousand life points out, um, out of it. So he's down to 2850. So his time is running out in this duel, so let's see what he can do. He talks to me giant, is summoned to the field, and he will destroy Snake Yashi. So that's not too bad. I've still got two monsters on the field. Oh, I've, I've drawn he talks to me giant of my own. So I'll go ahead and summon that to the field. It's time to attack him. I summon Skull will annihilate his Atatsumi Giant. The difference is 1300. So now um, Joy Wheeler's done for after these two attacks to his life points. And Atatsumi Giant will finish off Joey. So this was actually a little easier than last time. You didn't get to summon Red Eyes this time. Jeez, I lost. So this time I will open up the Red Eyes pack, and anything good, Beaver Warrior, Sandstone, it's a pretty weak 5 star monster, Succumbus Knight, another weak 5 star monster, got another Fayaru, and Giant Mech Soldier, which is a 6 star monster, 1750. It's pretty weak, but it's only 50 attack points weaker than Kuryoshi. So I'll think about it. And I finally got my copy of Yu the weekly Yu-Gi-Oh! Which is sent to all duelists on a weekly basis. It's a vital source for cards that can only be found in this publication. So this is my first weekly Yu-Gi-Oh! edition. So hopefully I'll get something good. So I got Dragon Zombie. Um, Pretty decent uh, monster. Clown Zombie, Shadow Spectre, mostly zombies I got. King of Yami Makai, pretty good 5 star monster. And Green Kappa, select 2 face down magic or trap cards on the field and destroy them. This is a pretty good card actually. It has two Mystical Space Typhoons in its effect, so can't complain about that. So I'll go ahead and end this part of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Duelist Soul LP. Comment, like, sub, and the next time I will um, edit my deck. Alright, see you guys later.